today we're going to talk about how to reduce ferret smell. Not humanly possible to reduce their smell. Let's face it, your ferrets are never going to smell like flowers, however there are some things that you can do to reduce their smell. Ferrets shouldn't smell too much. If you smell them, they shouldn't be too smelly. Obviously they'll have a very light ferrety smell and most animals tend to have a very unique smell to them. But ferrets, a ferret smell shouldn't be overwhelming. He <laughs> puffed. The smelliest thing about ferrets is their poofs. <laughs> when they poof, it's kind of they release a smell from their anal glands, and that tends to be a bit smelly. But they do that very occasionally. Some ferrets don't actually even do it at all. For some reason, Bear likes to do it whenever we're holding him. Don't you? Yes, you do. I know that in some places around the world, ferrets do get dissented, which means that their anal glands are removed. However, I am strongly against this because the actual smell of a ferret mostly comes from the oils from their skin and not from the anal glands. It's just the occasional puff that you smell, which Bear did <laughs> just then. Some things that you can do to reduce sm ferret smell are desexing your ferrets, especially the males, will reduce the smell considerably. Male ferrets, when they come into se season, tend to smell a lot. And I mean a lot. So it's best to get them desexed. There are also other options apart from desexing, so just ask your good, experienced ferret vet about your options. Female ferrets will need to be desexed if, not planning to br if you're not planning to breed them. Otherwise, she can die of a condition called aplastic anemia. Another thing that you should do is make sure that you clean the ferret's cage every day. Clean the ferret's cage every day, yay! And that includes cleaning all the poo and pee and making sure that it's all clean. This will make a huge difference to the ferret's smell. Clean the bedding every week. Clean the bedding every week! All of the oils from the ferret's skin tend to get caught on the blankets, which makes the blankets smell a lot. And toys, all the ferret toys and blankets. It goes in the wash, in the wash they go. Also try not to use detergents or just use natural ones because some ferrets tend to react or have allergic reactions to some detergents that you use in the wash. Deep clean the ferret's cage once a month. Deep clean the cage once a month. Yeah. Pull the ferret cage apart, take it out into the garden and spray it with a hose. You'll be surprised at how much pee or poop gets stuck in between different corners and crevices uh, and makes the cage smell a lot more. Open up the doors and the windows so that you can make sure that you air out the room and let lots of fresh air in as well. It's always nice for the ferrets to get fresh air and it will also help you air out any of the smell. I've heard that air purifiers are fantastic for getting rid of ferret smell. In some cases people swear by the fact that they can't even smell the ferrets once they install the air purifier. So that might be worth looking into. They can be quite expensive but if the ferret smell is something that really bothers you then that might be the way to go. Don't use any chemicals around your ferret such as deodorizers or those spray things that you put into the wall, I don't know what are, what they're called, but try to minimize chemicals around your ferrets as much as possible because they will breathe it, breathe it in and those can cause respiratory illnesses. Don't bath your ferrets too often. There's a big misconception out there that you should bath your ferret as much as possible in order to get rid of their smell. However, what actually happens is once you bath a ferret, their 
oils go into all overdrive because you've stripped all their oils from their fur and so that they start to go into overdrive and overcompensate by producing even more oils which makes the ferret smell even more. So don't bath your ferret too often if you don't want it to smell. Another really important thing is to make sure you're feeding your ferrets a high quality food. Low quality foods can make your ferrets smell more. Some things that you can do to mask your ferret smell is to burn incense instead of using chemicals or burn some essential oils. It's, again, instead of using chemicals, it's a lot healthier for your ferrets and a lot more natural as well. Have you ever experienced people complaining about your ferret's smell? It's pretty annoying, isn't it? Why do you have those rodents as pets? They smell! <laughs> Yeah, they smell. You don't have to be around them. Let's bust this ferret smelling myth once and for all and look after the ferrets and their cage and the surroundings the way that we should so that people can't complain about their smell anymore because it's annoying. And now we're going to announce the winner for the YouTube contest from last week. I didn't choose it because I didn't want to be the bad one not choosing someone, so I decided that Doug can choose the winner. Hi everybody, so I got given the job of choosing which ferret was, uh, or which ferret video was going to be the winner of those two lovely hammocks. And after a very long consideration, and obviously a lot of input from you here, um, I chose Susie's video. Yay! Susie, Ellie, um, and Kimball. Your gorgeous little ferret. Um, all the videos are really good. I like the ones that just had, you know, close-ups of the ferrets and stuff. But you know, I just thought Susie's had that little bit extra. So congratulations, Susie, and of course, Kimball. Um, Steffi will obviously put your stuff in the mail. And congratulations, and thanks a lot for everyone who entered. Congratulations for winning these hammocks, Susie. Kimball will now have two new hammocks which is very exciting. And also, I'm going to throw in the 101 Ferret Games and Homemade Ferret Toys eBook. I also wanted to give everyone else who entered the contest a copy of the 101 Ferret Games and Homemade Ferret Toys eBook as a thank you for entering. It'll help you to never run out of ideas for games and toys again. If you liked today's video, then please subscribe to my channel. There's a new video on every Monday. Yeah.